you'll get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, what's up, what's up, world of YouTube? It's your boy, Aliway DBA, in that building, as always. I got my crew with me, well, I should say, my man's with me, pause, Vietnam 202. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit of comedy today. Today, we're going to watch the great George Carlin, you know. So, uh, you know, American stand up, did his thing back in the day, the mm -hmm. 70s through the 90s, only. No, even through the uh, 2000s. So, uh, I don't know if you know, you excited to see him. I am, I am, yo. George Carlin is one of the top five. He's one of he's on my goat top five comedians list. Uh, funny, his delivery, his facial expressions, his content, you know, a plus. A lot of uh the comics now, you know, from our generations like the Seinfelds, the Bill Burrs, the uh, Dave Chappelle's, Kevin Hart's, they all reference you know George Carlin as being one of their mentors, heroes, people they looked up to, yo. So. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to look at this show. Yeah, I was look, looking here. They said that he was dubbed the Dean of Counterculture Comedies. And uh, he's known, I guess, for, you know, dark comedy, some uh, mm -hmm. politics, of course. He definitely lo loves to get into politics, uh, like psychology, religion, and also Facts. the English language. And that's what this one is about right here, Everyday Expressions. I, I I haven't heard this one. I think I've heard bits and pieces. I'm not sure. I'll know once I get into it, uh, if, I, if I heard it before. But... Uh, it's his take on everyday expressions, I guess. Well, this was the, the video called, so we'll see. <laughs> Let's go, yo. I'm ready, right. yo. So we'll go ahead and kick this off in three, two, one, go. Now this next thing, this next thing is about the English language. It's about little expressions we use. We, we all say them, the little sayings and expressions that we use all the time, most of us. And we never really seem to examine these expressions very carefully at all. We just sort of say these things as if they really made he sense. Always black. Like, he always legally black. drunk. Uh, <laughs> well, if it's legal, what's the fucking problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my friend alone, officer. He's legally drunk. <laughs> you know you can stick it. Well, why do we always assume everyone knows where they can stick it? Suppose you don't know. Suppose you're a new guy. You have absolutely no idea where to stick it. I think there ought to be a government booklet entitled Where to Stick It. <laughs> now that I think of it, I believe there is a government booklet like that. They send it to you on April 15th. Tax <laughs> day. <laughs> undisputed heavyweight champion. Well, if it's undisputed, what's all the fighting about? <laughs> it's the quiet ones you gotta watch. You know that one, eh? Every time you see a story about a serial killer on TV, what do they do? They bring on the neighbor. Yeah. And the neighbor mm -hmm. says, well, he was always very quiet. <laughs> and someone in the room says, it's the quiet ones you gotta watch. This sounds to me like a very dangerous assumption. I will bet you anything that while you're watching a quiet one, a noisy one will fucking kill you. <laughs> Suppose you're in a bar and one guy's sitting over on the side reading a book, not bothering anybody. Another guy's standing up at the front with a machete, banging it on the bar, saying, I'll kill the next motherfucker who comes in here. <laughs> who are you going to watch? <laughs> you're goddamn right. Lock him up and throw away the key. This is really stupid. Where are you going to throw the key? Right out in front of the jail? <laughs> His friends will find it. How far can you throw a key? 50, 60 feet the most. Even if you lay it flat on its side like that and you scale it, what do you get? An extra 10 feet, tops. This is a stupid idea, needs to be completely rethought. Down the tubes. You hear that one a lot. People say, ah, the country is going down the tubes. <laughs> what tubes? <laughs> Have you seen any tubes? Where are these tubes? And where do they go? And how come there's more than one tube? It would seem to me, one country, one tube. What, does every state all of a sudden have to have its own tube now? One tube is all you need. 
What a tube that big. Somebody would have seen it by now. <laughs> Somebody would have said, hey, Joey, Joey, look at the fucking tube. <laughs> big ass fucking tube over here. You never hear that. You know why? No tubes. We don't have tube one. We are essentially tubeless. <laughs> tubeless. Takes the cake. You know, say, boy, he really takes the cake. Where? <laughs> where do you take a cake? To the movies? You know where I would take a cake? Down to the bakery to see the other cakes. <laughs> and how come he takes the cake? How come he don't take the pie? Pie is easier to carry than the cake. Easy as pie. <laughs> hey, wait. Cake is not too hard to carry either. Piece of cake. <laughs> the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> so this is it, huh, folks? <laughs> yeah. A couple of hundred thousand years. People beg me stop using all these uh, expressions. Uh, I yeah, find yeah. myself using these a lot. The fucking pyramids, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Panama Canal, the Great Wall of China. Even a lava lamp. Know, to me, is greater bread. than sliced bread. Know, but that, but What's so great about sliced bread? You got a knife, you got a loaf of bread, slice the fucking thing! <laughs> <laughs> and get on with your life. <laughs> Out walking the streets. You know, guy gets a parole, they say, now instead of being in prison, this guy is out walking the streets. How do we know? <laughs> Maybe the guy's home banging the babysitter. <laughs> Not everybody gets a parole is out walking the fucking streets. Uh, first out, oh, a lot of times they, they steal a car, you know. <laughs> and we ought to be glad. Thank God he stole a car. At least he's not out walking the streets. <laughs> Fine and dandy. That's an old-fashioned one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Say to a guy, how are you? He says, fine and dandy. Not me. I never say that. You know how come? Because I'm never both of those things at the same time. <laughs> Sometimes I'm fine, not dandy. Close to dandy. Approaching dandy. In the vicinity of dandyhood. Not quite fully dandy. Oh, no. Other times, I am dandy. indeed highly dandy. I already know what dandy means. I know. Besides, say, Bible dandy, I don't think I ever <laughs> seen However, dandy use. not fine. One time, one time, 1965, August, for about an hour, I was both fine and dandy at the same time. But nobody asked me how I was. And I could have told him. I could have told him. I could have told him. Means excellent. Oh, you I go. could have said to the person, fine and dandy. I consider it a lost opportunity. <laughs> Walking papers. You know? Guy gets fired. He said, geez, poor guy. Well, they give him his walking papers today. <laughs> Did you ever get any walking papers? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Believe me, in my life, I got fired a lot of times. You can tell. <laughs> Never got any walking papers. Never got a pink slip either. You know what I would get? A guy would come around to my desk and say, Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> 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 you don't need paper for that. <laughs> With the box. It's like so. the riot act. The riot act. They keep telling you they're going to read that to you. <laughs> Have you heard this thing at all? <laughs> Especially when you're a kid, they threaten you. You wait your father comes home, he's going to read you the riot act. <laughs> Tell him I already read it myself. <laughs> and I didn't like it either. I consider it wordy and poorly thought out. <laughs> He wants to read me something. How about the gentleman's guide to the golden age of blowjobs? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> More than happy. 
I bet you say that sometimes, don't you? Once in a while, you say to somebody, Oh, I'd be more than happy to do that. <laughs> How can you be more than happy? <laughs> to me, this sounds like a dangerous mental condition. <laughs> we had to put Dave in the mental home. He was... Whoa, more than happy. <laughs> <laughs> One more of these. In your own words. People say that to you. You know, when you hear that a lot in a classroom or in a courtroom, they'll say to you, tell us in your own words. <laughs> Do you have your own words? <laughs> hey, I'm using the ones everybody else has been using. <laughs> Next time they tell you to say something in your own words, say, Nick Flut, Blarney, Quando, <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, mm. yo. Yeah. I, dog, I don't, I gotta watch what I say now, yo. Cause like he makes a lot of sense when we use the phrases that don't make no sense, yo. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It definitely and he ended on a good one in your own words, because that's the truth, yo. What what do you mean in my own fucking words? It's the motherfucking <laughs> English language. <yo. laughs> it's everybody's words. It's everybody's words, yo. The, like, it, the Queen's words, the Queen's <laughs> English we use. The Queen's yo. English. <laughs> No, the funny thing is, yo, George Carlin, like this whole, the way he did this set, like it transitioned so beautifully, though. It's like he had every phrase that he wanted to say, an explanation to it, and he and he comes out and kills it, yo. I think George yeah. Carlin, and he's so smart too, yo. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a, a smart man's comedian. So shout out to him. I, I like his political stuff a little bit more, but uh, this is a good one. This is good. It was, it was solid. It was solid. This was solid, yeah. I mean, this is this is this is old older George Carlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely when he was up there in age. So you know what I'm saying. He was still kicking it. Yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, some of this comedy bits like the uh, seven words you can't say, yeah. hilarious. But his 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 political commentary is always spot on. Up yeah. until this day, whatever he said then applies now, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we yeah. definitely have to get it uh, in this George Carlin bag. Uh, so. If y'all got any uh, good clips, takes, stand-ups that we should watch, definitely let us know uh, so we can get out there. And, and any other comedians as well, yo, because we definitely, like, uh, yo, we want to laugh with everybody and see, Back you know, show. and see what's out there. So, Back uh, show. You got any parting words, Phenom? Yo, like, share, subscribe. You know, you come to the channel. You know, we step in all different directions, yo, from the music reactions to movies uh music and movies to comedy oh we we react to everything yo we like to like to have fun that's all that's, that's what it's about yo yes sir yes sir so there it is yo shout out to george carlin rest in peace my dude uh you know hollywood dda phenom 202 and we out peace yep yep I think you'll get with this, this cause this that. is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. that.